Am I the a-hole for coming to dinner topless? I dreaded posting for a while because I'm afraid I might be an a-hole. But I just gotta know. So here goes. My parents-in-law and brother-in-law came to visit and stay for a month with my husband and I after I had my baby. For context if it makes any difference, I'm German, husband and his family are Italian. The baby was three months old at the time and I breastfeed her. Usually I just nurse on the couch in the living room but because company was staying, I'd go to my bedroom. After I nursed her, she'd fall asleep and take a nap and I'd have some free time. Since family was visiting, I tried to plan her naps around our meal time to spend time with family uninterrupted. My mother-in-law has this thing that when food is on the table, you be there pronto. Sometimes I'd be late coming to a meal because babies can be unpredictable and she wouldn't fall asleep right away or nurse longer than normal. To this my mother-in-law would barge into my room and announce food was ready, all impatient. This startled the baby and made the process last much longer than it should have. The result is I had to eat much later than everyone else, alone, and the food was cold. It left me fuming. More work. What's the worst cheating story you have ever heard? When I was 13 years old my best friend was 17 years old which is already pretty weird. We had a very weird dynamic and hung out outside of school a lot and he would take me to the houses of a lot of girls he knew which I didn't. I had not yet gone through puberty and he would take this as an opportunity to joke about in front of these girls, who were often 14 or 13 themselves and make them laugh this way. He would get a laugh out of me often and refer to me as cooter repellent which hurt to hear as the three or four girls my age around him would laugh. I remember him bragging about how he had gotten brain off one of these girls who was just 13 and he went around saying it like it was the greatest thing in the world. Even I thought this was weird and called him out on it, but he said I was just jealous and that was that. Anyway, while over at one of the houses I managed to spot a pretty girl and we actually made a contact. I talked with her a little bit and afterwards I had noticed that she maybe actually liked me. She was my age and her best friend, who was 13, had just gotten into a relationship with my friend. I asked her to be my girlfriend after speaking with her just once in real life and once over text. My friend teased me about this non-stop, saying how he could have her if he wanted but he would be nice and allow me to have a girl to myself for once in my life. I paid no attention to Theos however as I envisioned me and this girl going off and spending our lives together despite the fact we did not even know each other's second name. So, one of the